Okay, welcome. Um, I'm here just introducing you to Band Labs and walking you through the basic features of um, how to input sounds into this program. When you first load up um, the mixer um, to be able to create a song in Band Labs, you end up with this screen. You've got MIDI instruments, drum machine, uh, voice, guitar, and bass. What I want to be able to do is just walk through the basics of these features and finish with the loops feature at the end. So going into MIDI instruments, this will automatically create your MIDI track here. Um, you may have this screen appear. If it's not there, click on instruments and you'll see here. So this is the working space. So you should be able to click on any of these notes and play things in. You should be able to use your keyboard if the letters are visible on your computer um, to play in sounds. Um, the other option, if you've got a MIDI device connected, I'll connect up my MIDI device. You can select it and then use that to actually play in um, what you want to do. And I'm happy to teach people how to do that if they happen to have a keyboard at home. Um, the next feature. So adding a new track, we click up here and it brings us back to this screen. Um, the next thing we've got is the drum machine. So in here, again, you've got your drum machine. We've got a MIDI track that we had before. Um, click down here on instrument and it brings up the drum machine template. Here's where you can literally click in um, the rhythms, the dots and things as to what sort of rhythm you want. You can play it. You can create a B rhythm. You can create your own rhythms there. Okay. Um, up here, as you move along the timeline, you might get to here and want to bring back the A rhythm again and you can paste in rhythms as you see fit. Just be careful if you have your cursor halfway through and you add a rhythm in, some weird things can happen. Over here you've got an undo button if things go wrong. You can also select some of these fields and delete them as needed. Okay. Over here you've got the different drum kits that you can select and different sounds that you want to do for this thing as well. I'll leave it at that for this particular section. Next one, if we go and add another track, we've got voice. Let's do that one. Now with this one, again, I'm going to go down to the source. And here's where you can see that my interface that I've got connected is into channel one. And you can hear me speaking currently through this. If you click on monitoring, you'll then hear that through your speakers. Okay. Again, when you're hitting record and play, you can then record your voice. The other thing here, you've got effects, that, like a guitar um, effects pedal rack. You can be clicking in here and adding in different sorts of tones and effects and things that you might have. Um, so if I go into delay, for example, it's got all the different settings. So much like a guitarist, you can put effects onto your voice if you wanted to. Okay, I'll keep moving through. Um, the next one, add another track. If we move over guitar and bass, both of these are the same. I'll just happen to go into the guitar one. Again, coming down, we'll go to source. And here, again, if you've got an interface, this happens to be onto my um, microphone, um, but you might have a keyboard plugged into a stereo pair. You might have a guitar plugged into the second channel. And of course, nothing's coming through because I've got nothing plugged into that one. Okay. Um, like with the voice, you can add effects. You might want to add um, a certain amp, a delay, distortion effects, and those sorts of things, and you can add those in as well. Okay, um, the bass, I'll just quickly bring that up again. Same thing, if you've got a bass guitar, a lot of the features I think in the effects are linked to that. Um, the other thing that I didn't show on the guitar is there actually is a built-in tuner, so you can be using that as well. The final thing I want to show you is if you happen to go to browse loops, so you can be clicking on there, or another way to get there is to click down here. You can be adding lyrics to songs, you could be doing loops, and the MIDI mapping I'll do another day. So loops. Here you've got like all these different categories of styles, I could put it like that, or genres. Okay, when you, you can play this and hear a sample of a piece of music that utilises that. Um, and then once you find one that you like, you can go through and sift through. There are lots and lots of different sorts of sounds. You can again hit the play button and sample what that sounds like. 
when you find a song that you like, you can then drag that in over here and have that wherever you want to have it and play it back. You can um, extend it, repeat it if need be. You can do a lot of things. You can copy and paste it and manipulate any of these um, samples as you see fit. Okay, that'll do us. Thank you.